Welcome back. In the previous video, we explained how the roulette wheel selection method works, and we mentioned the idea behind it, where um, each chromosome covers an area of a pie chart or of a roulette wheel, and that area corresponds to its fitness value, meaning that it, the higher the fitness value, the larger the area is. Now, we can simulate this by the following algorithm. What we do is we loop through all members of the population, all the chromosomes, and we sum their fitness values. So we just compute the sum of all fitness values for all the chromosomes we have in the population. After that, we generate a random number, let's call it R, between 0 and that's that value of the sum. right? After that, we loop through, it, through the population again, and we compute the fitness value of each chromosome and then we just create the sum again but now at every or in every iteration we compute the value of the partial sum that we are building against that random number we generated in the first step remember in, in the previous step remember r is between zero and the total sum and here we have the partial sum because we're still looping if that partial sum is let's say greater than R, then we stop there and we select the chromosome we're at, right? We select the chromosome we have in or at that iteration. Just to explain this further, let's have a look at this simple Java implementation. Right, this is the Java implementation. If you look here, we have an initial value for the total sum of zero and then we loop through all the members of our population and we find the fitness value for each member, for each chromosome in the population. Now here, this can be your own fitness value, fitness function. My fitness function here is named list is dashed line because as I explained in the previous videos, we are solving this dashed line problem where we have several small, uh, small and short line segments and we are trying to find the order of those line segments so they can make a larger dashed line, right? Uh, please watch the previous videos or watch the videos by the end of the series just to get an idea. But this again can be your own fitness function. So we sum the total fitness, fitnesses of all the members of population, and then we generate a random number between zero and that fitness and that sum. And then we compute partial sum. So we just loop again, compute the sum at every iteration, and then we compare the partial sum that we have against that random number. If the partial sum is greater than or equal the random number that we generated, remember the random number is between 0 and the total sum, if the partial sum is larger or equal that random number, then we stop there and we select the chromosome or the candidate solution or the member of the population at that index. X here is our index. Right? Hope the idea is clear. If things go wrong, then we just return minus 1, but we should always get uh, uh, the uh, index of the element we're at, right? So that's a simple, I, I know the idea is quite simple. You, ca you can see how short and how small the Java implementation is. I'm going to stop here. In the next video, we'll start speaking about rank selection. Thanks again and see you next time.